Imagine a boy born into poverty on December 27, 1571, in the Swabian town of Wild Der Stadt, Germany, a child of Lutheran heritage facing early abandonment by his mercenary father. His mother, a herbalist later accused of witchcraft, raised him through financial woes and his own chronic illnesses, yet Johannes Kepler's genius shone through. He earned a scholarship to the University of Tübingen, studying theology, philosophy, and astronomy under the influential mathematician Michael Meislin. Deeply religious, Kepler saw the universe as divine geometric harmony, weaving faith with empirical science. In 1594, he taught mathematics in Graz, Austria, marrying wealthy widow Barbara Müller and fathering five children, only two surviving adulthood. His debut work, Mysterium Cosmographicum, pitched a heliocentric model with planetary orbits in nested platonic solids, gaining notice amid Copernican uproar. Religious wars drove him from Graz in 1600. He joined renowned observer Tycho Brahe in Prague. Tycho's death in 1601 left Kepler his vast data and the role of imperial mathematician to Emperor Rudolf II. Sifting Tycho's precise observations, Kepler forged his three laws. Planets orbit the sun in ellipses. A line from planet to sun sweeps equal areas in equal times. The square of orbital periods is proportional to the cube of semimater axes. These upended astronomy, bolstering Copernicus and setting Newton's stage. He advanced optics in Diopterus and championed Galileo. Widowed in 1611, Kepler wed Susanna Ruding, grinding out calendar and ephemeris calculations for his family's sake. Tormented by debts and the Thirty Years' War, he died on November 15, 1630, in Regensburg, a vital bridge from medieval mysticism to modern science.